Well, greetings and salutations, uh, test takers. This is uh, Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in uh, fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. Uh, the best free supplement to your paid study materials on my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. With my Guru 10 discount code at checkout, you can get it for about $58.50. Uh, for that commercial, uh, Kaplan gives me uh, the ability to give you a free look uh, on Kaplan content. Uh, we will help you with any question you have from any test uh, prep vendor, training consultants, STC, Pass Perfect, doesn't matter. Just a little easier if it's Kaplan, because you don't have to cut and paste. You can just send me the QID number. This is QID 1282981. An investor purchases a 2X leveraged ETF. So what we're trying to do here is twice whatever the return on the referenced index is. So I'm purchasing it here, but remember I can sell short if I'd like. Here I'm purchasing it. So my expectation, if it goes up, I'm going to get twice that return. Now, the same supercharged speed I make money with is the same supercharged speed I make uh, lose money with. The index value is $100. On day one, the index falls by 10%. So again, uh, you got to be careful here. So if the index falls by 10% and I have a two times uh, 2x leveraged ETF, I would expect my ETF went down 20%. So if it was 100 times 20%, I would expect that uh, this is now 80. Again, the same supercharged speed I make money with is the same supercharged speed I lose money with. Now the uh, index fell by 10, so 10% 10 of 100 is 90 so we expect that's now at 90 and then it goes up uh to uh goes up on day two by 10 percent. so again that means i'm thinking it's going to go up uh, twice so twice that is going to be 20 percent. so i would expect that this uh, went up 20 percent of that and i would expect that that's 96. so uh it looks like i'm down four uh, percent how does this affect it, right? Because remember when I did this, the index was 100. And now let me just get out my annotation tool. Boom, right? I, it was 100 and now then it went to 80 and then bumped back up. But from 196 is a 4% loss. Now be careful. They didn't ask you about what happened to the index. So, you know, hopefully you, maybe you're getting bogged down here. The index was at... Uh, Value was 100, down 10 is 90, up 10, 10% 10 of 90 is 99. But that has nothing to do with answering this question. And to answer this question, we need to say, okay, well, when the index was 100, you know, I bought this thing and, uh, you know, it went down 20, so my account value was 80. Then it went up 10, 2 times 10 is, uh, you know, 96. And so I've actually uh, lost 4% uh, here in terms of what I invested, because remember I bought it when the index the value was 100. Um, do I think you're gonna see this? Perhaps, this is low probability, but indeed it is testable. And I would know that, you know, the same supercharged speed you make money with is the same supercharged speed you lose money with. All right, well, let's, uh, let's do the reveal and see if we got this right. So I'm saying, okay, I did it when it was 100. It went down 10%, 2 times 10 is 20, so it went to 80, my account value. Then went back up 10, 2 times 10 is 20, it went back to 96. Please note, you you would think, but I guess they, I bet one of the choices here is zero, that you kind of, maybe you go, oh, it went down 10, uh, went up 10, I'm even. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> you know, That's a major misunderstanding in uh, terms of the math. All right, so let's see what our choices are here. I'm looking for a 4% loss. There we go. Boom. Down 1%? No. Now, if you maybe, again, Kaplan's pretty good on how to mess this up. So maybe you thought, well, gee, the index is at 99 and it was 100. The index is down 1%, but you're not down 1% because remember, you did a leverage, 2x leveraged ETF. So remember, we were at 100, we went down 10, that's 90, went up 10, that's 10% 10 of 90 is 99. So the index is down 1%, but not you. You're down 4. Let's see. It is even, again, good miss. 
I think, okay, it went up 10, it went uh, went down 10, it went up 10, it's a wash. No, no, no. I just illustrated mathematically that's not true. Uh, I think uh, the worst miss here in the answer set is D. You know, so. All right, well, let's see what the, uh, you know, uh, rationale says. If the index drops by 10 points on day one, it has a 10% loss and a resulting value of 90. Again, we don't care about the index. Remember, 10% loss on the index is a 20% loss on the ETF. Assuming it achieved its state of objective, you know, sometimes the EFTF doesn't match because what we mean is they have to reset it and they're using futures to do that. So it may not, uh, you know, match, but they're telling you here, assuming it does, which we should assume for, for test purposes. We drop 20, that's what we did. So 20% of 100 is 80. So, right. On day two, it goes up 10. So the index went to 99. But again, the question isn't about the index. The question is about you, the holder of a 2X ETF, leverage ETF. For ETF, the value of the A would rise 20%. So we went back from 80, 20% of that 16 is 96. On both days, the leverage ETF did exactly what it was supposed to do. It produced daily returns were, were two times the index. But as we look at the result, the index lost 1%. That was a choice offered to you. But since you went down uh, and then back up, you lost 4%. That means over the two-day period, the negative returns were four times, right? Two times, uh, two X times two, uh, instead of two times the return. So what we're trying to get at in this question, what Capital's getting at is you, you know, you're not going to, it's not a wash that you're going to go down and you got to come back further to uh, make that even. Again, do I think you'll see this? I do. Uh, if you do, it's low probability, but it is what it is. Remember inch by inch, your series seven is a cinch. Yard by yard, your series seven is hard and uh, send your explication request my way and I'll see you for the next request. Bye bye.